So for me, there's two parts to Yellowstone, the wildlife and the geothermal activity. Since both of those would be a ton to pack into one video, I'm splitting them into two, with first being the wildlife, and I couldn't start anywhere else but with the bison. One of the most iconic animals in America is the American bison. It's also called the American buffalo, or just buffalo for short. Bison can get huge. Wild males can weigh up to 2,200 pounds, or 1,000 kilograms. The males and females tend to stay in separate herds, at least until mating season comes around. Before Europeans came to North America, bison were absolutely dominant within the ecosystem. It is estimated that there were at least 60 million wild bison across North America as recently as 300 years ago. Unfortunately, by the year 1900, this number had dropped dramatically to only a few hundred animals because the American government had made a mission to eradicate as many buffalo as possible because it knew Native American tribes depended on the animal, and this was the way to break their spirit and force them onto Indian reservations. Committing these two tragedies at once was how the U.S. government secured their policy on westward expansion. Fortunately, thanks to conservation efforts, the wild bison has made somewhat of a recovery. Within Yellowstone, there are over 4,000 bison roaming free in two different herds, and there's about 10,000 more in protected lands across the U.S. Bison can be found anywhere that there's a grassy plain within the park. However, if you're coming to Yellowstone to see bison, go to the Hayden Valley or the Lamar Valley, which are in the central and north central parts of the park, respectively. By the way, you might think these calves are cute until you see them headbutting their mother's udders. It seemed pretty brutal to me, but I guess that's being a buffalo. It's an amazing, beautiful creature that you just need to see for yourself. But don't let their lethargic, docile nature fool you. More people have been hurt by bison at Yellowstone than by bears. So enjoy them, but like most animals, keep your distance. Another thing about the wildlife in Yellowstone is that it has a tendency to cause traffic jams. So if you find yourself at the back of a long line of cars, just be patient. It probably means there's a really cool animal at the front. If you do spot an animal, be respectful. Maintain your distance, don't antagonize them, don't chase them around. Remember this is their territory, not yours. Just get the pictures you can from where you are and call it a day. Probably the only animal more associated with the United States than the bison is, of course, the bald eagle. The bald eagle has a range that basically covers the entire continent of North America. Its diet is mostly fish, but it will also kill other birds and mammals when it has to. Here I saw a mated pair overlooking a river. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of them fishing, but oh well, maybe next time. If you come to Yellowstone in the late summer, chances are you will get to see some elk. I definitely got stuck in a few traffic jams due to elk herds grazing nearby. Here you can see a bull elk tending to his harem of females. Younger males have to sit on the sidelines until they're strong enough to challenge him. Heading into the hills, I spotted this shy guy wandering around the cliffs. Like most mountain goats, he kept his perch and just watched me from a distance. Still, it was pretty cool to see. Finally, I got to see a pronghorn up close. These animals, also known as prairie antelope or American antelope, are fairly common across the Midwest, and this guy in particular showed me just how little the animals fear humans in Yellowstone. I stayed perched on a rock and he just walked right around me grazing the whole time. It was an amazing sight to see all these animals in their natural habitat, and when I looked around at all the other cars and park goers, it just seemed painfully obvious that we were the outsiders. We humans were the ones coming into their territory, almost like traveling back in time to an era when we hadn't yet arrived. Finally, if you're going hiking, don't forget your bear spray. I didn't see one when I was there, but you never know when you might need it. To me, it was awe-inspiring, like a real-life Jurassic Park. I kept thinking, what if the bison had gone extinct in 1900? We'd be sitting around right now, looking at old pictures of them, wishing that we could see such a majestic animal, wishing that it still existed. But our timeline is not that dark, and you can go see them for yourself at Yellowstone National Park. If you're enjoying the channel, hit subscribe and watch out for my next video where I check out the geothermal activity at Yellowstone, including the Mud Pots, Mammoth Hot Spring, Grand Prismatic Spring, and of course, Old Faithful.